Hey, hello, hi, we're back with more Toon Boom composite shenanigans of things that can go wrong with them. And here's three layers that are in three-dimensional space. Oh, that's fancy. They're named back, middle, and front, which is appropriate for their position. And down here is a camera view set to random mode. Uh, this is a typical setup, a very simplified version of what you might see when you've got lots of characters with moving parts and they might have individual bits that are all set forward and backwards a little bit in three-dimensional space and this is all spread out for demonstrative purposes because it's easier to see. Now a very common thing that can happen uh, is some variation of something like this. Everything's all messed up now, and I don't know why. Why is the middle layer in front? I didn't even touch the middle layer, I moved the back one, and I can turn it on and off, and for some reason it's messing with the layering of the middle, and it's all very confusing. I can unhook that one, nothing's changed, nothing's fixed, what's going on? This is the problem. This, is, this composite node here. It has flattened these two together in a very difficult to see way, but once you understand what's going on, it does start to make sense. So, everything from the perspective view's point of view is still three-dimensional and layered the way you would expect it to be. However, what the camera sees is quite a bit different, and it is a result of these two threads combining together. Anything going into this is going to be registered at one level of depth. Particularly, everything is going to be rendered at whatever depth the thing furthest away is. More specifically, everything is going to be rendered at the depth of whatever is going in furthest most to the left. So this back one here, it's at the left. Therefore, the front one, even though its size stays the same, it's, you know, it's relative, but it will appear at the same depth as the back one. Therefore, the middle one will be in front, okay? So if we were to flip these around, so now the front one is in front, it's still going to register it as a flattened thing. So now both of them will be seen at the depth level of front. So now the green one at back is brought all the way to the front, even though it's kept small, it is going to be in front of the middle thing. How do you get around that? This is the same answer as what we talked about yesterday. If you haven't seen it, I should go click on the video and then go, anyway. Uh, mode, change bitmap to pass through. And it will treat each element with its own independent depth. So if you're getting layering issues, first point of call is to make sure that as many things as possible are set to pass through. And is the reason, again, that I stated yesterday that pass through should probably be the default setting and it's more often than not that you are deliberately using bitmap to flatten stuff. Very confusing when you don't know what's going on uh, because it's it's not seen here. They, they are not actually flattened. They are only appeared to be flattened. That, that's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hopefully that solves some problems. See you next time.